Ryan Priest, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. How about that race at Las Vegas in the Xfinity Series? It was a great race. You saw crazy restarts and tons of side-by-side -side racing. And you saw Ryan C. Uh, with his, he, he don't have the best equipment out there, but he's getting up there racing inside the top five. So that's really impressive. And congrats to him for getting the top five. But even more congratulations to my man, Chase Briscoe. Chase Briscoe just won his first race of the 2020 season. This is his third career win in the, in the Xfinity Series. Uh, he won in Roval a couple years ago, and he won at Iowa last year. But now, this is his first win on a mile and a half, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just looking forward to the, the cutting these next, this summer months of races, and now you don't got to worry about winning again since he's already locked into the playoffs. Last year, you had to wait until July for him to win the race. But now, I don't got to worry about that. So, I'm just looking forward. Now, I just need Clint Boyer to win. It's going to be awesome. But, the Xfinity Series race, though. It started off, Chase Briscoe won stage one, typical. And then, stage two went on. You had Austin Cedric win it. And then, beginning of stage three, you saw some crazy restarts. And then, at the end... Uh, you're getting the feeling if another caution came out with 10 to go since Ryan Sieg on the Saturday uh, part of the race, he stayed out and stayed at the extra set of tires. He, he can more than likely be your winner if there was a caution with 10 to go. And because he, he's the only one that had uh, tires left. So that was like, I was thinking about that before, uh, right around 20 to go to myself. If there's a caution that comes out, here with 10 to go, Ryan Sieg's gonna get his first career win, and it's just gonna be crazy because Ryan Sieg owns that team, and it's not the biggest team out there. And that win to that team would mean the world to them. So, I'd have been cool if Ryan Sieg went into, but he, he's got he got a great top five finish, which I'm super glad he got. Uh, but man, just a great uh, lot, ton of great stories this weekend in Vegas. You saw it in all three series. It's just crazy. You got in the cup race. You got Matt DiDividetto finishing second. Ty Dillon inside the top ten. And then you got this. Uh, Ryan C. Uh, Brandon Brown even finished P11. Jesse Little finished P14. Just a true underdog weekend. You just can't beat that. Please like